Orange Shirt Day is a day of remembrance and reflection in Canada that was started to raise awareness about the legacy of residential schools and to honor the Indigenous children who were taken from their families and communities to attend these schools. It is observed annually on September 30th. The idea for Orange Shirt Day originated from the story of Phyllis Webstadt, who at the age of six was sent to a residential school in British Columbia where her new orange shirt was taken away. The orange shirt became a symbol of the harm that was done to indigenous children in residential schools and the ongoing intergenerational trauma that their families and communities continue to experience. Orange Shirt Day is important because it provides an opportunity for Canadians to learn about the history and legacy of residential schools, acknowledge the harm done to Indigenous people, and commit to reconciliation and healing. Here are some things you can do to support Indigenous survivors. Learn about the history and legacy of residential schools and the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's call to action. There are many resources available online, including books, articles, documentaries, and podcasts. Attend an Orange Shirt Day event in your community or organize one yourself. Wear an orange shirt on September 30th to show your support and to raise awareness. Donate to Indigenous-led organizations that support survivors of residential schools and their families such as the Indian Residential School Survivors Society or the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation. Listen to and amplify the voices of Indigenous survivors, elders and knowledge keepers. Advocate for systemic changes that addresses the ongoing impacts of colonialism and promote Indigenous self-determination and sovereignty. Take action to learn the indigenous history and customs of the land you are on and support the territorial sovereignty of indigenous communities. Residential schools were part of the government-sponsored system that removed indigenous children from their families and communities and forced them to assimilate into Euro-Canadian culture. The system operated for over a century and had a devastating impact on Indigenous peoples, including the loss of language, culture and identity, as well as physical and emotional abuse. To support Indigenous survivors, it is important to listen to their experiences and stories with an open mind and without judgment. The intergenerational trauma caused by residential schools is still felt by many Indigenous people today and it's important to acknowledge and address this ongoing harm. One way to do this is to participate in events like Orange Shirt Day where you can learn about the history of residential schools and show your support for reconciliation efforts. Another way to support Indigenous survivors is to become an ally and advocate for systemic changes that address the ongoing impacts of colonialism. This can include supporting Indigenous-led initiatives and organizations such as land defenders and water protectors and promoting Indigenous self-determination and sovereignty. You can also educate yourself and others about the history and culture of indigenous peoples including their traditional knowledge and practices. This includes learning about the land you live on and its indigenous history and acknowledging the territorial sovereignty of indigenous communities. Finally, it's important to recognize that reconciliation is an ongoing process and requires long-term commitment and action. By taking these steps, we can work towards a more just and equitable society that recognizes and supports the rights and well-being of Indigenous peoples. Visit www.bearstandingtall.com and take Indigenous Awareness Certificate Training.